Hello, my amazing first grade artist. Today we're gonna to be starting a new project. We are gonna be creating these colorful butterflies and we're gonna use several different materials. I think you're gonna enjoy being able to use these different materials this time. But before we start, we're gonna talk a little bit about butterflies. And in your teacher's lessons plans, I have the link for a video that I want you to pull up on YouTube and show the students butterfly animal for animals for kids. Let the students watch that and it will show them a little bit about butterflies and then we'll get to do our fun creative part. So do that first. And then we're going to uh, make our butterflies. So I wanted to show you this. This is a picture of a different varieties of butterflies and your teacher should have this and she can hang it up in the room. But you see there's lots of different kinds of butterflies and these aren't even all of them. And they come in different colors and different sizes and with different patterns on their wings. So they're all just beautiful. I love butterflies. And you're gonna be thinking about what colors and patterns you want on your butterfly. Butterflies are insects and they have an, a head, a thorax and an abdomen, and they have two antennae. And we're gonna be making all of that. And um, butterflies are also symmetrical. That means they're the same on each side. So this wing is the same as that wing. And that bottom wing is the same as this wing. So I'm gonna be showing you an easy way to make your butterfly symmetrical. So to begin with um, students, you're gonna get a piece of watercolor paper and you're gonna turn it horizontally with the long side going across. And then we're gonna fold it in half this way. Teachers, you may want to help them. We need to try to get our edges lined up really good and this will help us make a symmetrical butterfly. So then we're going to open it up. You should have a line that runs up and down. And then I have sent these paint daubers and they have black tempera with just a little bit of water to make it just a little bit more runny, but you don't want to put too much water or it'll dilute it too much. So you'll need to have an area set up in your classroom where students can come do this. It's tempera paint so it washes out, but they still need to be careful and not squeeze them too hard. So one thing I like to do before letting the students draw their butterfly is letting them practice on a piece of paper. You have to kind of gently squeeze to get it to come out, but they need to see about the pressure. So you may wanna let them run a few lines first just to make sure that they know how to do it. Okay, so we're gonna start. Teachers, I'm gonna let you help your students know to what make, where to make their dots. But you're gonna come down a little bit, not all the way halfway on that center line and make a dot. And then you're gonna go up a little diagonal and make another dot. Don't go all the way because when the paint smushes like we're gonna do in a minute, it'll get bigger and it'll run off the edge. So let the students each make a dot where you've shown them and then they'll draw a line and connect them. Then this is where we're gonna make it symmetrical. We're gonna fold it back in half, let the students press it and do it and do their hands in circular motion and now you have a symmetrical line okay now we're going to come down and we're going to make another dot and another dot there so it kind of goes a little diagonal let the students connect that and then i'm going to go ahead and let them connect the two um top and bottom lines with whatever kind of line they want i'm going to use a curvy one for my top wing and then we're going to fold it okay and there is your top wing for your butterfly all right now we're going to make the bottom wing so they're going to make a dot where those connect and then you just let them decide what shape they want to use for their the bottom of their butterfly wing we're going to fold it again and then if sometimes this will happen where it doesn't quite print good, so you can let them go back over the line they just created with a little more paint and do it again. Okay, so there we go. So there's our symmetrical butterfly wings and now we have to make some patterns on the wing. So we can't draw really, really small detail. They just need to make some big shapes. So for the top wing, I'm just gonna make some big curvy lines. Okay, and then for the bottom wing, I think I'll just make a big circle in here. They have to be pretty simple because we can't draw small with paint daubers. OK, 
Okay, and there is our symmetrical butterfly. So you'll let that dry. You should have your name label on the back, let it dry. And then when you come back next week, let me get one that I have already made. This is a different one that I made, but it's already dry. You are going to let them color this using tempera sticks. So the tempera sticks are kind of like oil pastels, um, but it's really just dry tempera paint. And I love these because they're less messy than tempera paint. Let them choose what colors, but remember this is symmetrical. So if I color this outside shape pink, I have to make this same outside shape pink. You want to try to make your colors symmetrical also. So I'm just gonna roll it up just a little bit, make sure they aren't rolling up too much. Students, make sure you follow directions if you wanna to get to use these. And I'm just gonna color in this top shape on my butterfly. So remember, it's symmetrical, so that's that one is pink, and now I need to come over on the other side and make this one pink. Okay, now I'm gonna do this shape. I'm gonna make it blue. Make sure they put the caps back on these or they will dry out. So now I've gotta do it symmetrical, remember. And I think I'm gonna come down here and make some blue in this. You can repeat colors. It's a good thing. And I'm gonna do some green now. We'll do green in here. Ooh, isn't that a pretty green? Bright lime green is one of my favorite colors. And then I'm gonna put some yellow down here. It's good to use bright colors because they will contrast. They will be very different than your dark black. And they'll really look good. So remember I have to do the same thing on the other side. I'm not putting my hand down in what I'm coloring either because it will smudge and smear. So you have to hold your hand up. All right, so there's my butterfly. So you can let those um, sit for another week and they'll kind of dry. And then we're gonna make the body. So I'm just gonna leave my butterfly here because I'll be adding the body as I go. And remember, the butterfly has a head, thorax, and abdomen. So you're gonna get a piece of colored model magic. It was in a pack, I've already opened it. And you're gonna divide it into three pieces. We're gonna start with the head. I'm just gonna sit this over here, my other two pieces. Okay, so we're gonna start with the head and you're going to put it in your hands and roll it into a ball shape. And then you're gonna kinda of smush it flat. You can smush it between your hands or you can smush it on the table. And that's gonna be the head. So teachers, I'm gonna use Elmer's glue, which is fine. You could use hot glue if you're doing it for the students. You could use some of your tacky glue. Um, any of these will work. So I'm gonna put some glue on the back of it and glue that down. Come up just a little bit, okay? Now we're gonna make the thorax. So this time I'm gonna kinda of start rolling it like a ball but then I'm gonna make it into more of a coil. See this shape I'm making? And I'm gonna kind of flatten it out just a little bit, not too much. It's kind of like a long oval shape. And I'm gonna put some glue on the back. And glue it on there. And then I'm gonna make the abdomen. This might be a little too big for the abdomen, so you can take some off. Any model magic that you have left over, teachers, you can put it in a Ziploc bag and you can use it with your other classes. So you may end up getting enough leftovers that you wouldn't have to open new packs. So try to save all your leftovers. And I've made another oval shape. It's a little smaller, and that's the abdomen. And I'm gonna glue it. Okay, the last thing we need to do, so we have some variety, some contrast in our art, is we're gonna make some texture on its body. So I'm, I want you teachers to just find things in your classroom that you could use for texture. You can use plastic forks, plastic knives. I've got, these are extra marker caps, like a popsicle stick, even a pencil. 
and you're just gonna let the students experiment with some texture. So right now I'm gently making some dots using a pencil. This part. And then down here I may make some, um, I think I'm gonna use my popsicle stick. I don't know if this is showing up very well on the video, but I'm making some little lines. Don't let them press too hard because it'll smush their body too flat. But they need to do this before the Model Magic dries. And then I may make some circles using this on the head, just kind of gently. It's just a subtle texture. It's not pressing it too hard. And then the very last thing that you're going to do is let the students draw their antenna on with a Sharpie. So we're gonna come up the top of one side and let them decide what kind of line they want their antenna to be. We can use all kinds of lines. You can make a swirly line. I made a curvy line. And remember, it's symmetrical, so do the same kind of line on the other side. It could be a straight line, a curvy line, a zigzag line, whatever you want. And there is your very own butterfly. It's using lots of materials. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you work really hard. And your teacher will send these back to me and I will put them on our Sonia. So really try to do a good, neat job for me. Can't wait to see what they look like and I will see you next time. Bye.